now we need to construct the polygon. So let's, let's uh, just have a look here. So what's going to be important is to get the feel for this. And what we're doing is we're taking the lines that bound the polygon and we'll use them to create the polygon. This is much more efficient than clicking out the lines and then clicking the polygon out, which is how we've done it in the past. So I'm going to shift select all of the lines that bound this one particular bit of colluvium. And then don't forget to use the map boundary. In this case, it, I have the bottom there, but you might use the red line. And so you see there in blue, oh, I missed one, uh, is all the, th the lines that bound that polygon. So now we go up here to our advanced toolbar to this little wrench and see how it says construct polygon. So let's click on that. And what's really nice is we already have the template so we can pick our units. And so QG is the colluvium. That's the only one that's a little bit confusing. So because QA is the alluvium. So I'll click on that. And then the cluster tolerance is how uh, it, it, the gaps that we can tolerate. So we have a pretty low uh, tolerance for gaps between our lines. If sometimes if they're not, if it's not building the polygon, you can make this larger, like one meter or ten meters, and no need to use this existing feature. So say okay, boom, and it built it. It was quite exciting, and now it's in this map unit polys layer, which is different than the contacts and lines. But you see that there's no outer boundary for that polygon because it's relying on the contacts and faults for its ornamentation. Now let's do another one. And you can try to turn off maybe that map unit polys. Click this, shift click this. Actually, let's just do this one little uh, polygon there. That's going to be a the diorite, a bit of a gap. Let's see what happens. So we get the. So it says could not be created. So uh, sometimes this means that we've selected um, a polygon. So what you can do is just uh, leave them on there. Let's try it again. Need to change it to uh, YXM. Okay, so now it's we have a different error. This error says no polygons were created. Ensure the selected features form continuous ring. So if you if we zoom in, we can see what the problem is. So we have a bit of a gap here that's too much to tolerate. So either you can edit those polygons. So if we or edit the lines. So if we double click, we can say. So what I can do is I'll double click on this one bounding line and I'll pull this vertex over near to the other one. And then we can uh, proceed. Let's try that again. Got it. There, so I'm shift clicking all of those guys, and now I'll tool, make another diorite, boom. Zoom back out. So now we just keep going. So it's this one, this is uh, another piece of diorite. Now one thing, let's try it. Let's say I accidentally we clicked on the polygon that we had made. So when I click on the wrench, it, it gives us an error. Polygon features could not create it. It uh, basically is confused because we have that polygon selected. So I just hold the shift button down and I'll click in the polygon and I unselect it. And now hopefully it'll work. Boom, so we got the YXM, so things are going along. Now this is a big piece of Pioneer we have to do and it's going to be hard not to end up picking a piece of one of these polygons 
along with the bounding lines that we need. See there, I got the polygon. Sometimes if you want to get a few lines, you can just kind of grab them by highlighting them with the mouse rectangle. Okay, we selected all those lines. That's a big piece of the columbium here. Okay, we have a gap somewhere. So now you can see it's right there. this one. Okay, so again we can edit this or we can try to increase the t cluster tolerance. Try it with one meter. Didn't work. So let's try it again. Maybe 10 meters. Got it. But you see it's not looking very good up in here. We can undo that, construct polygons. So, best thing to do is zoom in here and edit our lines. So, if we come in, double click, let's get this end and just pull it to there. Now, zoom out. So, no significant difference. And grab these guys. Okay, let's try that again. Create the polygon for the QG, but keep a small cluster tolerance. Boom, we got it. So the thing is we did a big polygon. Now let's go in and, and now click out the smaller boundaries, for example, this piece of dripping spring that's inside the colluvium. Same thing can be done then for this piece of dripping springs. It's important to make sure that each of these features has two lines at least. So actually we have to go back. This one is only one. So let's delete it and redraw it with two. So just go do a half. It's because the create polygons is confused if it only has one line to work with. Okay, let's keep going. So we have a little bit of, looks like alluvium down here. Again, I have to resist the temptation to keep drawing around. I just double click and then I have two lines bounding it. And finally, I have this little piece here. So now let's make some of these small polygons. Get our Two lines there. Create polygon. This is a dripping springs. Boom. Here's another dripping springs. Okay, they're, they're too close. To, ah, I forgot to get the bottom. Got it. Now let's do this one piece of diabase in there. Got it. And this is a piece of alluvium. Whoop. See, I don't want that polygon. One thing you can do is, if I go like this, I've got two polygon, two features, the line and the polygon. But now if I shift, I can unselect the colluvium. And then I still keep that line there. Alluvium. Boom. Got it. OK, 
Okay, now it's really important to remember to save our edits, which includes both what we draw and also the constructed polygons. And then let's for safety just save the MXD file. Now I'll just click out the rest of the map. So let's try to do this alluvium here. You see it's an irregular shape and it may cause us some problems. So let's click out all the map boundary and then all the polygons that go with it. All the lines that go. So we've got quite a bit, but you can see it's probably going to be confusing because it looks like there's almost two polygons. So we really would need to split this map boundary. But let's see what happens. Okay, so it made a big alluvium that's everywhere. So it's not really what we want. So let's just undo that. This line here, this tool lets us split the... really need to do a split there now if we click select you see we only have the separate pieces here for our map boundary and this will make life a lot easier you remit so remember you're going to probably want to do that split in a few places. And now let's try it. Okay, now it's not too bad. We just have a few gaps. Let's increase our tolerance by a little bit. Trying maybe five meters. Got it. Okay, here's another time where we need to split that boundary because you see it's get confused as to the polygon. So let's double click this one and can just split it right at that vertex. Let's keep going. 